Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Chrono Cross. The last time we explored the manor, we got the code. Let us now continue into the rest of the manor. Let's turn it. The thing is four, and the second one is eight, which the animation will take absolutely ages, but that is fine. It's gonna take forever. But the door will open. Bam. Okay, so now we have three choices. Front, left, right. So here... Gapipi. Okay, we can't go that way, clearly. Let's check out what we can do here. And we will be able to go on a bridge right here and then to a library. That is a cool moon. Or two moons. I don't even know what's going on with this planet. Oh, it's a little bit laggy in here. Um, so there's nothing down there. There's this random little girl here. So, like, what are you doing here? Dragoons aren't allowed up here, you know. We're not really dragoons. What are you talking about? Take care of our costumes. So, like, what's your point? <laughs> what, is, what is it, Marcy? Is someone there? Some weirdos. Hmm, Marcy, lower the ladder, please. All right. Quick lore. Um, in Chrono Trigger, this guy is one of the... Th I forgot if it was three or four wise people thingies that was sent back in time oh my you must be yes you must be sir just my have you grown this guy is basically historic uh can i kill them yet patience child i need to have a word with these people who are you and how do you know surge how do i explain i guess you could say i'm the prophet of time i told you the world is not just a single identity another world similar to our own exists in another dimension there you will find what you might have become a world of possibilities that might have existed. A whole history that has not been written yet. It is out there somewhere. We are simply unable to see, feel, or experience it. Whoa. Trippy. Serge, this world is not the world is you grew up in. Whoa. Ten years ago, something happened that put your very soul tattering on the balance. With a 50-50 chance of life or death, this is when your future was split into twain. In your home world, you have survived to live a happy and prosperous life. This is how you made it to the present point. However, here in this world, you are in fact dead. You died 10 years ago, but this world's timeline is filed over. You have no place in this world here. You have bird ghosts brought back. So I told you guys when that happened, I kept, I didn't want to spoil it. But yeah, basically, we're in a different world. I do not know what happened 10 years ago, nor I guess what triggered your existence into this world. The locations where such div divisions in the time space continue to occur are called Angelus Era, where angels lose their way. It is said that there, at the borders of two dimensions, fluctuate in such ways to make the passage between the parallel realities a possibility perhaps in this world you are the missing piece from a giant puzzle and maybe just maybe the vacuum created by your non-existence here has drawn you across the border filled between the dimensions to fill the void in that puzzle of course no one can say for sure so yeah that's what I, that's what i was trying not to spoil but basically that that event the beach now there's two worlds. However, it appears as though these two worlds are connected by some unknown force. Depending on the location, the two worlds can influence another sub and we will spoiler be it we'll be able to go between the two worlds, but just not yet. I am quite certain there is a wormhole that connects the two parallel worlds. For your information, if you press the start button on the world map menu will appear that allows you to display which world you're in your home world or another world. Uh, if what you say is true and this world is an alternate reality, then why the bloody hell did Serger die? The reason has to be something that happened 10 years ago. You can only find by moving on. By the way, uh, when we talked to Lena on the beach, she, she said Serger died 10 years ago. So basically, yeah, no, I'm, no way I'm going to let you shut up, you little brat. Can I, can I? I guess it cannot be helped. This may be fate in itself. We ain't here to play advise you not to take mercy lightly. This child is one of the four divas, the highest rank of the dragoons. What, this little brat? Hee <laughs> hee, too late now. Say bye bye. Alright. So I didn't save, which kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and defeat this little girl. 
should be an easy enough battle. Maybe. Alright, let's hit him with that two. Okay, we got two good hits. I like it. How hard does she hit? 25. That's a pretty good hit. Oh, she's blue. Okay. Let's hit her with the red. If she's blue, we don't want to hit her with another blue. Unless we, like, truly have to. That should... Ooh, that does a good bit of damage. I'll take it. Hit her with another two. And let's go ahead and pill for her. I don't think we're going to lose this battle, so wasting one little turn won't really do much. Let's see what we get. Silver Lope. Okay, that's... It's an equip. It's pretty good. And... Ow. Oh. Okay. It's good damage right there. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to watch out for that. Definitely gonna have to watch out for that. That should do a good bit of damage. Back to Surge. Go ahead and hit her with that 3 P, And then... Hit her with that dash and slash. Bam. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's hit her with the two. And then defend. Defend. If you think you're smart, then what about this? Cat's Cradle. That didn't do that much damage, actually. That's fine. Okay, she's low on health. Go ahead and hit her with that fireball because I know that does a good chunk of damage. That is a good chunk of damage right there. Why, why that does it? Ice blast. Oh, not on kid. She's gonna die. Oh, come on. Why'd you have to kill her? I needed her XP. I guess she really didn't like kid. That's fine. I'll just kill you anyway. That just sucks because Kid won't get the XP. Ah, uh, one more turn and Kid would have got the XP. That's really tilting, actually. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. But well, we did get another Ice Blast, Elemis. So that's pretty good. It's not over yet. I'll get you next time. Alright. Ho, ho, ho. I did not think you would be able to defeat Marcy. Oh, come on, I'm not that weak. Very well, I should advise you of your next step. There are eight pillars in the main hall behind the second to last pillar on the left is a button to release the platform. Dragoons are not allowed up there, so it is best that you beware. However, there's, n there's a much stronger being you will encounter. If you say so. If you say so. So, uh, second pillar, second from last... On the left, there will be... Oh, Marl, how you doing? Huh? Who the... Hmm. Are you Surge? You are even more sexy than I thought. Ooh la la. Oh, who the bloody hell are you? And this one must be kid. You disgust me. What'd you say? If you're gonna insult someone, you should at least speak proper English. Ironic. I'm Appel Marl. I am the right hand Harlequin to Mansoor Lynx. Surge, if you lie down with a thing like you will surely catch fleas. Ugh. I think you can do much better if you gave her up. Actually, I suggest you all turn black. Back? Black? You should not defy him. Oi, what's your problem? Please, Surge. I would hate to see anything sad happen to you had it up to here with you. You shut up. I'm having a serious conversation with Surge. Why don't you mind your own business? That's it. Put up your dukes. I'm gonna kick your arse so hard you'll kiss the moons. Are you the one who is doing to blah blah blah? I cannot cop fighting here. Imagine the trouble I would get into. Au revoir, Mon Surge. See you again. Alright, so we'll deal with her later. Please dream of me. So she clearly has a thing for search for some reason. Jeez, what's her problem? I'm guessing I still can't go here, right? Good PP. Yep. So second to last. Let's push the switch right there. Arg. 
What do you think you're doing? Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have to fight these two. No problem. We'll demolish them. Uh, let's go attack this guy. Nice. Two hit. Got a three. Let's hit him with the ice blast. I should kill him. Oh, kid is one HP. That's not good. I forgot to heal her, apparently. Okay, let's go ahead and heal her. Oh, the camera's so wonky. Uh, okay, there we go. Yep. Let's fix the camera angle. Oh, that's, it's good that I healed her right then. She would have got hit. Bam. And then let's go ahead and magma bomb here so we can hit both of them. Oh, he's not dead. It's kind of annoying. Let's defend with him. Aw. I wasn't defending with Kit at the time. Hit! Nice, so we even killed him. Okay, we missed. Sucks a little bit. Um, hit him with the dash and slash, I guess. It's not really super strong, but it's fine. There we go. Let's make sure to heal everybody. There we go. And let us go up. Whew. All right, so we got a door. Okay, well, there's a safe point here. It's good. We don't have the crashing problem anymore. So this isn't necessary, but... At the same time, if I die, it's probably a good thing. I won't die, though. Your boy, Aqua. Knows how to play this game. Alright, so we got two... How come they didn't jump at me earlier, huh? Why does this thing gotta do this to me? Why gotta do this to me, man? Bam, you thought. And we'll be able to hit this one with that ice blast. Out of here. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. And none of us actually got hit, which is also pretty good. Alright, I guess we'll, we'll go through. Okay, so it's locked. That means we have to go through this one. I might as well defeat the door boss while we're here, right? We could just bypass it, but you know what? Might as well kill it if we're here. Hit it. Nice. Nice, two hits. Let's hit it with that ice blast. Good amount of damage and I would pill for it but we really don't need what it gives us so we'll go ahead and ice lance it Bam. and then with him all we need to do is get up to Wandam so we could do the staff thingy I'm pretty sure we're up to that point yep which is good One hundred. Good stuff. All right. Oh, it's gonna spawn things in now, won't it? Darn it, man! Darn it, man! Oh, there's water on my phone. Oops. Okay, I probably need to take care, but apparently one of my bottles with water is leaking. 
Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Ironic. Something just popped up from Amazon on my phone that said something about it being waterproof. It's ironic. Oh, okay. Didn't hit. Defend. Pretty sure we have a spell with him, right? Uplift? That should be enough. You know what? I'll just leave the water there. But I will definitely move my phone so it doesn't break. That'd be a good idea. Bam. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go ahead and heal up. And go through this door. What's behind this door? Do you see that? That is a frozen flame. Oh, messed up my buttons. Oi, could this be it? It can't just be hidden out. Nah, it ain't the frozen flame. Don't see any other booty here, though. I guess I'd bet ask the general directly then. Well, he's right there. What is it you wish to ask me? My compliments on getting past my security. Now, may I ask you, who in heaven's name are you? So you're General Viper. Don't feign ignorance on me now. Why did you send your dragoons to get me mate Surge here? Surge, my dragoons. I'm afraid, my dear, I haven't the foggiest idea of what you're talking about. Mystery man. This must be the beast they're talking about. General, I believe these vermin are here to see me. Well, it seems you have saved me the trouble of finding you. Lynx. Hmm, so his name's Lynx. Young girl, are you? What's the matter? Can't get your tongue? I finally caught you. By the tail now, Lynx. I've come for two things. The frozen flame in your life, you murderer. Aha, so you must be kid then. Member of the fearsome band of thieves known as the Radical Dreamers, correct? Radical dreamers, this young lady, precisely. Don't let her innocence fool you, General. She is quite ferocious. Haha, -ha, ferocious. By the way, there is, I think, a game called Radical Dreamers or like a visual novel thingy. After what you've done, I hate to disappoint you, but the frozen flame is not here. The fire lies hidden in the Sea of Eden, the place where the past and the future... All right, then. It looks like I'll have to put that off to later. In the meantime, I'll settle my score with you, Lynx. Prepare to meet your maker. Do this. All right, let's go ahead and fight Lynx. By the way, full transparency, I actually lost to him <laughs> once, so this is my second attempt. But we should be able to beat him. Hit him with that 80. Hit him with the three. Let's hit him with that dash and slash. And he is black. Dash and slash is white. So this should do uh, a decent amount. And it's a good thing we use that because now we won't be able to use white abilities. Then with the two, the three. And let's pilfer him. Let's see what item we can get. Power glove. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Although, oh, I missed that last one. Imbecile. Oh, come on, kid's not an imbecile. Although this special attack is black and his color is also black, it should still do a good amount of damage. It's not it's not gonna like completely void it out. So, yep, still near a hundred. It's pretty good. Uh, missed the three. Oh no, we missed two threes. All right, well then we'll just defend for now, and we'll attack with kid missed. Imbecile again. We'll just defend. Defend. He's gonna come up close and attack. There's do the three. Do that. And defend again. Alright, we missed that second one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ice lance him. 
I don't have any white magic on basically anybody else other than Surge right now. So... Let's use Uplift on him. Not, it's only going to do about 30 damage, but that's fine. Let's, let's just go ahead and Ice Blast him. We're not going to even attack him. Bam. Hell Soul. Okay, she might die here. She might die. Yep, she's dead. She's not dead. Okay, good. Good. She's not dead. And then, I guess... We'll just defend. Defend. Hit him! Oh, he didn't hit him. Okay, well, it's a good thing she's defending. Um, I don't know what cursed means. Hopefully she doesn't die, like, after a certain amount of turns. Let's go ahead and use Photon Ray since it's white. That should do a big, big amount of damage. We're just gonna keep defending with her anti-white. That's fine. I don't have any white elements on her anyway. Ah, oh, come on. Are you serious? Okay, let's try for... He should be low soon. I don't know who he's not becoming low at all. Well, we're defending on most people, so that's no problem. Okay, that's one attack. Let's go back to defending. Oh, hit him with the critical. He's gonna defend with him. There's like no point in even attacking. Okay, the 80 landed. Okay, he's he's starting to get low. You know what? We're just gonna Nostrum. What does this do? Oh, this heals him, doesn't him? Doesn't it? 200. Ooh, that's a that's a lot of health actually. I don't do that much damage very quickly, so. Well, surges. Okay, and we're just—I guess we'll start attacking. I guess because I have nothing else to do. So he doesn't like—he doesn't do a lot of damage. It's just an annoying part. Surge is basically the only one that does a consistent, like, large amount of damage. I guess we'll use fireball because we need to get that damage in fairly quickly. Only thing, I just don't want anyone to die because then they don't receive XP for the fight itself. It's literally the, it's just the only thing I don't want to happen. Okay, he's he's low again. Imbecile doesn't really do anything, that's fine. Hit him one more time. I guess let's arrow saucer him. I don't think it's gonna do much, but at this point, Kit doesn't do much damage with their normal attacks. So I just need to do something. Should do... Okay, wait. I have an element, right? Yeah, might as well use Fireball. Once again, just start bum-rushing him at this point. Try to kill him. Before he pulls out a spell that insta-kills me. Alright, we should be able to kill him right here. If we... Yes. No! Okay, she might die. She might be dead here. Miss! Good! She didn't die. I've gotten lucky. If you guys don't know what that spell does, is it basically insta-kills you, like, just makes you dead. So, that, that she dodged it twice, that's pretty good. Alright, we managed to get through this fight. By the way, transparency. The first time that I actually lost, it's because he used Hell Soul on Surge the first time and it insta-killed him. That's why I lost the first time, because I basically didn't have Surge from the beginning of the fight. Trick, that wasn't actually a Link, so that was one of his little buddies. Bugger, it was just a shadow. Did you think I was stupid enough to pick a fight with a rabid dog? Why, just a shadow of mine is enough to deal with the likes of you. Now, Serge, what do you desire from this world? Do you wish to live again? Do you want to erase your demise from the pages of history? What's wrong, sir? Ah, the sound is... 
really strong. Listen to me, the end of the human world is nigh. When this comes, sir, there shall be a deep between you and the world is not so ever. This is history. Another kitty. Three kitties. Bugger, this doesn't look good. You cannot escape. There is something I want to ask you. Daddy, about the void. Oh. Take her hostage. Don't move a whisker if you want this girl to live. Goodness gracious, who are you? My darling riddle, why you dirty? Shut up, old timer. Our lives are at stake here. There ain't nothing dirty about saving your own life. Kid, just stay calm and quiet and I won't hurt you, okay? I just need you to come with us till we reach a safer place. You alright, Serge? Come on, let's bust out of here. Let's get moving. In my opinion, the worst part of the game is about to happen, actually. And you'll see why. Don't be foolish. Do you really think you can escape? We are blocked in. You f you fiend, take your dirty hands off Lady Riddle. Oh, okay, what do you take me for? An idiot? Grr, ah, surge this way. <laughs> I love how everyone just casually walks everywhere. If I were one of them and, like, my daughter was, like, about to die, I'd, like, be full sprinting, you know what I mean? We have you now, you vermin. There's no way out of here. Bloody hell. Let's work out a deal. At least my daughter and I shall let you walk away. How about it? Yeah, right. As if we can trust you. Are you willing to jump to your death? Oh. She got hit. Oh, she fell. You ain't. What do you? Why do you live for? What are you willing to? What are you willing to die for? I've been waiting for you, Serge. Waiting a long, long time for you. Boy, you don't know. Now come to me, Serge, the assassin of time, the Chrono Trigger. Come to me, Serge. No, yoink. Peace out, homie. Oh, did I, did I click the menu by accident? Well, we lived, so that's good. You're finally awake. You're looking for your friends. They're outside. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to end off the episode, but I will... Uh, I do want to save before I... Obviously, I want, well, I want to quit the episode at a saving spot. Okay, well... I guess we'll keep going until we find a saving spot. Oi, Urge, you finally woke up, huh? Give your thanks to Korcha. He's the one that saved us after we fell off that cliff. No sweat. It's part of my job as a ferryman, but I have to admit, you caught me by surprise when you came falling from the sky. You're lucky that it was the sea that fell into you, not the rocks. I agree with that, but geez, you're such a wuss. How could you get knocked out from such a short fall? It's for me a little graze like this. Ain't gonna... Ah, uh, yeah, you know, she just fell on the floor. Ain't gonna knock me. Uh, spoiler. Uh, do you remember that thing that Link's hit her with? Yeah, uh, that's gonna do 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 some bad things to her. 
Oh man, she's burning up. There's a clinic in the village. We should take her there. Come on. I'll take her. I need your help. See, I thought these little noises were like my mom talking, but actually they're just part of the game. Whoa, there's like a ferret lady. It seems the patient has been poisoned with hydra venom. I would say the most she has to live is about two days. If we had some hydra humor, we would be able to neutralize the poison. Doc, if we find this hydra humor, can we save this girl? Yes, but that's impossible now. Hydra's now extinct in El Nido. What do you mean extinct? What's going on? Hydras are very rare and valuable creatures. The blood, bones, meat, every part is valuable. It's considered to be a penitent for various illnesses. That is the reason hydras were hunted to extinction in El Nido. As a result, the whole species been, has been made extinct just to make a quick fortune. Is there no way to find this humor? If we could cross the sea to the mainland, there might be a chance, right? That is not possible. The currents of El Nido are extremely dangerous this time of year. It is highly probable to cross to sea unless you are having a large vessel. If you manage to get there, your chances of finding Hydrohema are bleak. We do not have much time. Doctor. Hey, Doc, where are you going? Nothing's been resolved yet. Excuse me, I need to be alone for a while. Serge, what are we going to do? Kid is going to die and if we leave, if we leave her like this. Is this some kind of joke? Wait right here. I'll go get the doctor back. Whoa. Who the hell are you? What's this? Is it a bumping into Moha? Don't you know any manners? Blah, 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 blah. Hey, there's Harl. What's up? Haha, ha, she is down for the count, just as I thought. Serge, why don't we just leave her be? <clears throat> Quaria, what's with the strange costume? The attire, I have no business with the chicken hawk. I'm having, I'm having a conversation with Serge, don't bother me. Why, I'm gonna little boring you, you made me mad, I'll show you some manners. I'm not gonna cut you any slack because you're a girl. <clears throat> Try if you dare, I am not so weak to be caught by a chicken hawk. <clears throat> Heh, <laughs> you've got some nerve, you're gonna regret it. Charge! Ah, she's gone. <laughs> Dang it! Where'd she go? Haha, -ha, you're amusing. <clears throat> Aha, such a simpleton. It's so much playing jokes on you. I was only here to see how she was doing, but I had fun while I was at it. So long, Serge. Please dream of me every night. Will do! Tch, she's such a loon. What's her deal? I just don't get it. Yo, Serge, all of that blah, blah, blah. Oi, or oh, not oi, Serge. Come on, go talk to her. Dude, I'm trying to, f I want to end the episode, man. Oh, wait, yeah, where are you going to leave the poor girl? Bro, I want to save. Serge, I'll leave this with you. It's my favorite amulet. Astral amulet. Remember what the prophet said, Serge. Where did it all start? Where do angels lose their way? Try to remember, Serge. <clears throat> I'm feeling a bit tired. I'm gonna rest up for a while. You heard what the doc said. There are more hide. There. On top of that, there's no way to get to the mainland, and Elito isn't a small place. We're gonna take a one in a million chance to search for this thing just to save a girl you barely even know. Hey, what you gonna do? I'm gonna find a way to save her, man. Kid's my favorite character. I'm not gonna let her die. All right, then. I'll come with you. Okay, so basically, Kid is sick now. She gets replaced by this, as uh, Marl said, Chicken Hawk. By the way, do you have any clue where to start looking? I really don't like this guy. Um, I'm just not a fan of what he looks, how he looks. Uh, damn, what are we gonna do if only we had some kind of clue? Huh... I just don't like how it looks. Maybe you should go see the shaman. The shaman might be able to give you some claws for that amulet. That's right, the shaman. A shaman, that is an unfamiliar word. The enchants the power. They're like a mayor. The, the shaman might know something. Yeah. We'll continue this outside. Let's... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, basically, we're gonna try to find a safe place. Which, actually, there's one outside. 
Huh? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's one of those kitty things. Oh, you're from Mel's place. Oh, hey! Okay, that's Mel. What is she up to? <clears throat> What's up? It's just a cat. Strange guy. Come on, let's get it going. <clears throat> Alright. So, basically, kid is sick. We need to find a cure for her. Next episode, we need to get going as soon as possible. You probably need to equip yourselves, right? I'll be waiting here. Call me when you're ready to go. We haven't got much time. If you need to see the shaman, uh, take the lead. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, I'll explain it real quick just so you guys can get an idea. We're going to have to go talk to the shaman. She's going to explain what this astral amulet is. I'm just going to tell you what it is right now since we're going to do it next episode. It is the thing that's going to let us hop between the two worlds and how Kit said find the place where it all started that is Opasa Beach where we met Lena so basically we're gonna have to go there with the Astra Amulet go into the other world because there are no Hydras in this world to kill to save Kid. so we're gonna have to go to the other world go where the Hydra lives kill that Hydra grab the humor come back to this world and save her so that is the plan for maybe the next episode or two Right now, I'm just trying to find a place to save, though. I'm not gonna even... We're gonna talk to the shop owners, obviously, next episode, too. We're gonna kinda get a feel of the town. For now, though, I'm just looking for a stupid save, man. Ah, more cutscenes. Another life is about to slip through my hands, just like before. Nothing has changed at all by studying medicine. Man, I am powerless. So are you going to just give up on this life? That's not the case, is it? If you don't, who else will help her from the edge of life and death? I don't know your past. Living by is a very painful thing. You need to face reality, Hannah. Running away isn't a sin. It accompli accomplishes nothing. But I... One thing is different from the past. You have the ability to heal. Everyone in the village recognizes that. Don't suck for yourself. If you give up now, you'll never be freed from your... Now go. Don't let it without doing something first. I've done it. I am a failure as a doctor, but I must do what I can. Thanks, Orla. Dude, I'm just looking for a safe spot. You know what I mean? I think there's a safe space in there. This is the Dragon Tribe. Resident, be sure to act courteously on the premises. Pretty sure there's a save in here. Please don't trigger a cutscene. No! Welcome to the dry I am Tina, a shaman serving in high priest. I presume that you have to come to try and seek assistance. Please don't hesitate to ask. No, let me save first. You possess a young but gentle air about you. Hmm. This is an odd wind that is twirling about. I have heard that much wind bears appear at times, but do you seek the truth that you are already dead in this world? Hmm, I see. So that's why you have a cool odd air about you. As for a way to return to your original, I do not know. There are always there's always reasons why such a phenomena occur. The land of Genesis, you, you your only key may lie there. The, the key that connects your worlds to this, shall we say, it is dimensional distortum of sorts. If events in your world are different from the events here, it may be possible to save the girl stricken with a horror that is if the extinct Hydra still exists in your world. One must choose their own path, but as long as we are human, one will sometimes become lost. I pray that your journey be blessed by the guidance of the great six dragons. Cool. We can finally save now, so that's great. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Next episode, we'll get the town, travel to the other worlds, do a lot of exciting stuff, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to link in the comment as a personal channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.